Do you need some inspiration this Thursday? All you have to do is just walk around the uptown district of Mount Lebanon because the town is layered with haikus spreading positivity throughout the community. And it's all done with the help of some students. Joining me now live over Zoom to talk about the project is Mount Lebanon Commercial District's manager, Eric Milliron, and English teacher, Christine Schuler. Thank you both for talking tonight. Thank you, Megan, for having us. Yeah, thank you. Of course. So how did this project come to be? Well, you know, we're always looking for innovative and new ways to connect to the community. And we're always looking for an innovative way to uh, introduce art mm -hmm. uh, to the district. And we're always uh, trying to find a way to inspire. So what better way to do that than, than poetry? Right. And, you know, through traveling in, in, uh, in Washington, D.C., San Francisco, various other places, you know, I had noticed that uh, some of these towns were uh, incorporating poetry into their uh, commercial districts. And I, I was trying to think, you know, how can we bring this, uh, this, this concept to Mount Lebanon? So, you know, some places do competitions where they you know, do a, a worldwide invitation to submit poems. I'm thinking, you know, we have a lot of talent right here <laughs> with mm -hmm. our students in the in the school district. So, um, you know, I reached out uh, uh, to Mount Lebanon School District and, and, and introduced the idea and they uh, they jumped right on. And then the rest was history. Uh, Christine, we do need a refresher course, though, for all of us who don't remember back to high school <laughs> English. What is a haiku and and who wrote the ones that are currently up? <laughs> uh, a haiku is actually it's a Japanese form of poetry and it's it's focuses on brevity of language it's about the feeling that you get so it's perfect for the H uptown haiku project because you see very few words but you can read them while you're walking by and you can just get a little inspiration the ones that are currently up that you're seeing are written by our seventh graders from both Jefferson and Mellon middle schools um, they were selected by their English teachers. All of the students participated, but, but the English teachers selected a few that we thought were very, very special. So those are the ones that you see now, and hopefully um, they are inspiring. And they're up in an area that a lot of people will be walking past, and they'll at least be able to take the time to read them. How long will they get to stay up? They were up, they were put up in November when everything started to kind of be cold and they'll be up until the spring flowers start. So they kind of are our version of winter flowers here in Mount Lebanon. Eric, what type of feedback are you getting from the community, especially now when everyone's just, you know, they're feeling a little down? Yeah, I think we're all looking for a little uh, spot of inspiration. So um, these are really accomplishing that mission. Um, you know, since we started this about three years ago, it's, it's just been amazingly popular um, with the students, with the parents, and with all the visitors coming to our uh, uptown business district. So um, it, it's just been amazing. Well, I want to thank you both for taking the time to talk to me tonight. And again, they're in Uptown Mount Lebanon if you want to check them out. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you, Megan.